So tomorrow, April 8th, will be a total solar eclipse where the moon moves over the sun. And what is rare is that you will be able to see the corona or the outermost layer of the sun's atmosphere, which is one to three million degrees Celsius. And this has not been seen since 1925 and it won't happen again until 2079. Every faith tradition speaks of the eclipse. Ancient Mayans and Aztecs saw it as a sign from God. The Gospel of Matthew describes a period of darkness over the land from noon till 3 p.m. during Jesus' crucifixion. In the book of Joshua, the sun and moon stand still in the sky during battle. When the prophet Muhammad's son died, there was an eclipse. And the day that Buddha died and attained Parinirvana, complete bliss, there was an eclipse. In the Bhagavad Gita, there was an eclipse before the great battle of Kurukshetra. So in every instance, a hero dies and attains enlightenment and defeats his enemy and frees his people, ending an age of darkness and ushering in a new age of peace and slays the demons of delusion shows people the lies that we're being told and then reveals God's more powerful truth. The eclipse is symbolic of these times we're living in, that while it seems the forces of darkness can completely blot out the good, it's only temporary. In every religion, a total eclipse occurs when we're on the cusp of entering a new age. But first, the darkness must be experienced. So that's why every religion asks you to pray during an eclipse. The sun, the moon, the cosmic forces are pushing towards freedom and you wanna jump into that current and say your personalized miracle mantra that you are going to write today during our Sunday service and recite it over and over until the miracle is born in your life. Mm -hmm.